Are Christians supposed to be sober? And what does that even mean? Hello, my name is Josh Nichols, and this is Monday Minute, your weekly one-minute Bible study. Whether this is your first time here or you've been here before, it looks to be about that time to get your week started off with some of that biblical good good. Come on! Let's get started. This week we're in the book of Titus, and Paul's writing this letter to, well, Titus, and he is a young leader in a church. Just like Timothy. And Paul's giving Titus reassurance, guidance, and encouragement in this letter. Don't we all need a little bit of that? Now let's go ahead and look at chapter 2, verses 11 through 13, where it tells us, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now there's a lot in this, so stick with me, okay? God's grace is extended to all, and we need to learn to deny the worldly lust that bombard us each and every day. And we also must have a sober or clear mind. We must stay focused on our mission that we have while we're here on earth. And in all this, we need to be looking forward to the return of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining this week's Monday Minute. If you're new here, go check out some of the previous videos. And if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We're going all the way from Genesis through Revelation with our study. So check it out. And if this video blessed you today, would you mind clicking that like button and sharing this video with someone who needs to hear it? And don't forget to tune in next week where we'll be in the book of Philemon. But until then, get out there and tell someone that Jesus loves them today. Peace!